Statue Collector Lou here guys with another statue pickup and review and this one I'm very excited to bring you and this is the Princess Zelda statue from the game The Twilight Princess and this is from First Four Figures mine is number 1695 uh, it doesn't tell you out of what so I don't know what the ex edition size is it's done in quarter scale and the reason I'm so excited, guys, is I have been waiting for a statue of Princess Zelda for 10 years. Okay, there's always been a lot of Lynx, uh, Ganon, uh, a lot of the other bad guys and good guys. And they've never done the princess herself, and it's the piece that I've always wanted. Now, I would like to get a Link to go with her. I have a Link statue, but not quarter scale. So I'd like to get one of him next to go with her, as that would look awesome. Uh, there's a lot of great pieces in the line that I'd like to get, but this was the main one I was looking for. She came, she's beautiful, flawless, and it's just a stunning piece all around, guys. Now this, again, the packaging, phenomenal. It seems like any time something sent from Sideshow, but it's from another company, it's better packaging. So, amazing, guys. As you can see, her flap on the front of her dress is mixed media. It's actually leather uh, with the pattern dyed on it, just like in the game. It's amazing. The base... Very nice, simple, but nice. It's a pewter ring with a flower motif and a glass uh, set inside that with a white bottom to it. Simple, but very effective and stunning for this piece. You can see the amazing paint job on this, guys. There is no, there's all intricate details and there's no sloppy line work on this. And look at the eyes. You're, those are fully painted on eyes and they're not googly eyes. They're perfectly done. Uh, everything from her crown to the way her hair is done to her earrings to the amazing detail on the sword. Guys, you could see uh, right on her, the detail on her gloves. You could see the Triforce there. And again, guys, every ounce of detail that was taken in this piece. Uh, again, the crown, the jewels in it, her earrings, the wraps around her hair, her necklace, her shoulder pads, and the ornate details in that. The dress, uh, you probably can't see it on camera, but you probably will with the close-up pictures. There's ornate details in purple all going around the bottom of her dress. And then another fine bit of that. And then pink. So it's extremely detailed. Uh, in her hair, you could see the clasp uh, is very ornate. Again, with the Triforce in it. Uh, the, again, the sword, when you see close-ups of that, you'll see all the detail on her sword. And again, the fact that they went with mixed media and did an actual leather sash on her dress. It, it's just everything about this piece is beautiful. Stunning portrait and features, uh, which makes her as lovely as she's supposed to be in the game. And guys, again, beautiful. She stands approximately uh, 17 inches. I would say between 16 and 17 inches. And will look beautiful with my collection, with my gaming stuff. And again, I hope to get a link to go with her. I might even go for the Ganon, but I don't know on that one. But the, it was a great price. I mean, first four figure stuff hovers around four, four fifty, but for the quality of it, it's definitely worth every penny of it. And if you're a Zelda fan of any sort, uh, you you owe it to yourself to have this. I myself absolutely love it. It was the first game I ever played on the Nintendo. It's still my favorite game to this day, the original Legend of Zelda. 
and I own them all complete and boxed. Every Zelda game made, uh, barring the disastrous ones on the 3DO, but I may get those at some point just to have a full collection. Uh, that's how much I enjoy the series, and I hope one day that they make a uh, live action movie out of it. Uh, that would be awesome. I mean, I've seen some fan made ones that are great, but hopefully they'll make a professionally made one. You heard it here, Nintendo. Let's get this done. So, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a Zelda fan. If you are, what do you think of this statue? If not, what do you think? And get out there and play some of the games. Uh, this is the reason I still love Nintendo to this day. Um, and buy their consoles. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. I always appreciate the comments and the views and the likes and the subscriptions. So, always know it's appreciated here. So... That's it. Hero Statue Collector Lou out. Peace. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures and Twitter at Heroic Sculpture.